Oh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Turn camera. Nah. What else? Hey guys, Addy Triple Five here. I'm on my learners. It sucks. One of the biggest things I could say about it is it allowed to go over 80 kilometers an hour. I'm going 80 right now. My speedo is about 10% out, so don't complain. Say I'm speeding. So basically, how are you supposed to learn how to ride your motorcycle if you're not allowed to go the speed limit? It is just ridiculous. Here in the Northern Territory, we've got 130 zones. I could ride maybe five or 10 minutes down that way and hit 130 zone. Now, if I'm a learner, plodding along in a car or a motorcycle, or whatever, plodding along 80 kilometers in a 130 kilometer zone, that is not safe. That is far from being safe. How on earth is traveling 50 kilometers below the speed limit safe? I can see the merits of a speed cap on learners, I do. But why? Like, if a learner is going to go out there and speed and have an accident, they're going to speed and have an accident regardless of whether or not the law says they should go slower than 80. It is ridiculous. I can drive my car on my open license 130 kilometers down the highway, but yeah, I'm on my learners on my motorcycle, so I can't drive faster than 80. It is absolute crap, to be honest. Now, if you're on your learners, and you just got them, yes, I understand. Don't go 110, 130, 200, whatever the speed limit is, I get that. Don't do that, it's just stupid. Build up to it. Well, the current system is saying you have to be on your learners for six months before you get upgraded to your, your P's or your Opens or whatever you get upgraded to. That's a good system, I get that, it's good. It stops people from being idiots on the road, it means you have to wear a plate on your bike, Car so that people know that you're just learning. It's a nice system, it's fair. But say you can't go faster than 80, it's just dangerous. Because you could be riding for six months, never have gone over 80 kilometers whatsoever. Then you're on your P's or your opens after the six months after you've done your test, and bang, you're in 130 zone, going 50 kilometers faster than what you've ever ridden before. I can tell you from personal experience that my bike has gone faster than that with me on it. And I have learned that when you go faster than 80, it is a complete different ball game. If you don't have a windshield on your bike, there is a lot of wind forces that come up and hit you straight on your chest and your head and make you really grip your handlebars it takes a lot of effort to learn and restrain and relax your body and use different muscle groups in your abs to hold yourself upright so that way you can maintain a safe and steady speed on your bike whilst being alert without having to worry about your hands getting numb and white knuckle. It needs to change, I think. Why, why six months? Like, why not, when the rider is comfortable, they can go to speed limit. Everyone sees the L-plate, they know that that person is learning, they will steer clear of them or overtake them or whatever the case may be. So they know that they're learning, they're going to try and avoid them and give them enough space so they can learn as they, I'm, sh I'm sure they would have appreciated an L then. But I just think that there is so much to learn from riding a motorcycle faster than 80 kilometers at your own pace in your own time, whilst you've still got a plate on to say to guys that you're still a learner that still keep clear of me and do all those safe things but you know if I'm comfortable I'll go faster than 80 but if I'm not then you know I've still got my plate on you guys know that I'm not necessarily wise enough or I've got the, the skills to stay that speed on the road bit of an honesty system when I got my license for the car years and years ago there wasn't a speed restriction and there didn't need to be Obviously some bad egg has spoiled it for everyone by doing stupid reckless stuff and, and that bad egg has just ruined it for everyone trying to learn and it looks good as a knee-jerk reaction but come on, it's silly.
and you're behind someone that's a learner and they're sitting in 80 kilometers an hour and the speed limit is 130 do you think that's safe what would you do you'd want to overtake them now you have a learner who's constantly being overtaken who really doesn't have much of an idea of what it feels like to have extra wind blowing them on the bike now you've got cars and trucks bigger vehicles overtaking like if i'm going in 130 zone 110 that's my choice i'll cop the fine if i get done but i'm going to be riding 110 if that's what i feel comfortable doing and it's well below what the actual speed limit is because it's getting me accustomed to the extra speed and extra wind and extra noise of the road that I would not be getting accustomed to sitting at 80 kilometers an hour being essentially a lead weight with bullets flying around me. Do you think as a learner you, you need to go faster than 80 kilometers an hour to learn if you're comfortable and the speed limit of where you're riding says you can? What do you think as a learner without going faster than 80 kilometers an hour that you'll have all of the required skills to be able to ride in any conditions that you need. So once you get your opens, you could just go 110, 130, whatever the speed limit is, and you'll be fine. Let us know in the comments below, guys, and yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. Keep safe out on the roads. None of this stupid, reckless crap with people dying over stupid stuff anymore, all right, guys? Keep it simple, keep it clean, keep it safe. Until next time. Catch you guys later.